You've heard about computers that are very fast at making calculations, right? Yeah. Well, you have one of those inside your head. I do? Yeah, it's called a brain. Oh. <sighs> and it's very, very good at making very quick calculations. In fact, what we're going to do is test the combination of your ears and your brain by doing a hearing test. Here okay. are two spoons that I'll click together like that. But I'll do it behind your head. Okay. When you hear the sound coming from the right-hand side, you hold up that hand. On the left-hand side, you hold that hand. And when you hear it from the middle, both hands. Okay. okay. We'll check your hearing. <clears throat> okay, put your hands down. Okay. Now, do you realize how amazing that is? No. No? Well, you do that all the time, and you don't even think about it. Actually, what was happening, when I clicked the spoon, and I was on this side, this ear registered the sound, and so did that ear on that side. And your brain was able to calculate the difference in the arrival time between those two, and say, oh, the sound must be coming from there, because it came to this ear first. And you realize the distance between your two ears is, what, six inches or something like that, so you were able to detect the difference in how long it took sound to travel six inches. Amazing. Now, I will fool you, so be <clears throat> careful. I want you to okay. put this tube, which is from a piece of paper towel, right? Okay, and put it up here at your ear. And now I'm going to do the same thing again. This time you're going to have to use just one hand. Okay. Are you ready? Over here. Over here. The middle. Okay, look. Hold the tube like that and pretend that's, that, that's on your ear. I did it over here first, right? And you got it. Then I did it over here, and you got it. And then I did it over here, and you said to the left. And when I was about right there, you said in the center. <sighs> Why? Because I thought it was the middle because of the, the sound has to go through the tube to get to my ear, and right. it takes longer. If, well, as a matter of fact, if we did some very accurate measurements, we'd probably find that there was almost exactly the same distance from the spoons to that ear as it was from the spoon all the way over here to this ear. And your brain was able to detect the difference in that much distance at the speed of sound. So you have very good ears. Congratulations. That's amazing. Mm -hmm.